One of the main problems with uh, quadcopter is the battery time up in the air and the charging time. So basically you fly your quadcopter for 15 minutes, then you have to sit there and charge it for three hours if you have the stock charger. So I went looking way back and had found this IMAX charger, IMAX B6, which a lot of people use, but I'll share a link on eBay that I got it from. And I'll just show you quickly how to attach the battery to the CX-20 battery. Right, here's a video about upgrading the charger for the CX-20, basically any quadcopter. But I'm just going to show you the settings and the benefits of upgrading. So here's the one that came with your quadcopter. And then here's the IMAX V6. It's actually really cheap and it's one of the best upgrades you can do for your uh, quadcopter needs. So basically the settings for this is uh, say if you have the stock battery and that one's by 2700 milliamps. So I also bought another battery that's at 2800 and that's why my setting right now is at 2.8. So basically you'll want to do 1C. If your battery can't handle 1C, it, there's no point even using that battery to begin with. So it, maybe it's good it explodes on you which it probably wouldn't anyways but anyways so what you'll want to do is uh, plug in this battery here pause it for a second okay so I connected the battery up so the wires go like this you'll have a connector with uh, banana connectors at the end of it they plug in here on the side I'm making this video a little dark so you can actually see the LCD screen so it plugs in there, because you're using a 3C battery, it plugs into the 3C section there. And you'll also, at the end of these wires, that came with it, the clips, you want to clip the positive there and a negative to that one. So because this is a stock battery at 2.7 or 2700, you'll want to change it from the 2.8 like this. So you'll push the battery type. I'm just going through them. So I'm on lipo, lipo, push start, and then push start again. So this is where you'll want to change it to the 2.7. So the way this is on now, because it has lipo charge, it's not actually doing a balance charge. So just push start two more times so if you want to go to the balance charge which is the best way to do it push this guy here once and now it'll say lipo balance and it's at 2.7 amps 11.1 volts 3s so now what you'll want to do is push the start button push it again and then just hold it so it's going to check the battery and then just push start again. So right now it's actually going at 2.7 amps. So if you push this, you can actually see each cell. And they're each at 4.2. This battery is pretty much charged already. So now what I'm gonna do is just show you guys the actual amperage out of each battery or out of each charger going to the battery or what's being drawn out of this cord. Okay, so now I got the stock charger back hooked up again to the 2700 uh, battery and I have my voltmeter attached to it for amps. So I'm just gonna connect this guy. Okay, so now it's charging and it's charging at 0.68. So basically 700 milliamps. Now if you do some quick math, if this one's charging only at 700, plus whatever milliamps the unit takes itself, which is probably 0.2 or something, because I'm actually testing the uh, amps before the charger. So whatever circuitry is inside here is obviously taking a couple of milliamps as well. But anyways, we'll say it's 0.7. So basically if you times 0.7 by 3, you get uh, 2.1 amps. And uh, 
that's basically three times faster using the IMAX already. So I'll show you the amp draw from the other one just to see how true it actually is, if it actually is 2.8. So I'll hook that guy up now. Okay, so again I have this uh, the IMAX B6 connected to my meter for testing the amps. Again, I'm going through the power cable instead of going through the output here. So my measurements are going to be off just a little bit. So I'll connect it to power. So again, I have it set up for a LiPo charge 2.7. I'm just going to set it for the balancing. Okay, so now you can actually just hold the enter button. So right now my meter's sitting at 0 0.04 milliamps. I'm going to confirm it. So it's starting to climb up now. So it's sitting at 2.9 amps. And the meter is at 2.7. Keep, on, keep in mind this is also drying it off here. Just for a quick pause, I'll connect it on the output and just do a normal charge without a balance charge just to see what the actual ampage draw is to see how close it is to 2.7. The whole point of this, however, is it just speeds up your charging your battery so much faster. This, this little guy here brings your charging down from three to four hours down to an hour, basically. So it's definitely worth it, especially if you have three batteries or two batteries, because you're up and flying to get in about half an hour to 40 minutes constantly. So I'll stop it, I'll pause it, and I'll just connect it here just to see what the measurement says. So now I have it looped through the uh, main power cable. Okay, so I'm gonna start this guy up. I'll leave it on, uh, well, I'll try on balance just to see. Okay, so all is good. So this is what I'm curious about here. It's only supposed to go up to 2.7. So it's starting to drop. So the battery must be already charged or almost charged because it's starting to do its drop now. Usually when it gets close to the end, it, uh, the amperage starts to drop again. So right now, this guy's saying at 1.4, and this is at 1.36. So it's actually pretty close now this way. This isn't really the point of the video anyways. I'm just wanting to show you what the actual amperage is and what you're actually saving for time. So once again, I'll pause it. All right, so I have it all hooked up back again. I, I, draw, I drew some of the uh, amps out just by flying the quadcopter around just to drain the battery a bit. But anyways, point is, is this charger is totally, totally worth the money. Um, it just speeds up the charging time just so well. And for only $18 US, uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, it can do so many other batteries as well. Um, also, it comes with the connector here and you can actually uh, attach it right to a car battery out on a field. That's where I salvaged these wires from was I snipped them off for another project. But anyways, you can actually charge it. What I would do is, uh, instead of using this, I would just find an old plug for um, that plugs into the ashtray lighter. One with a heavier gauge wire, maybe something for a heavy duty light or something like that. Probably be perfect. Okay, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching.